Hi and welcome, I'm King Lucid, and I just wanted to, uh, I, I don't know, I don't know, let you guys into my mind while I'm writing this, like, what goes on up here. I've had a lot of these, I should really stop. <clears throat> okay, so, this is Instincts, Rise of the Instinction. My heart is beating really fast, that's probably not good. Um, this is the first book, well, okay, well actually, if you have not read my book, and you're planning on reading it, or you're reading it, and you haven't gotten to this part, stop the video, I'll put the link in the description, go read it now, so you can see what is going on with this chapter. <sighs> I'm way too hyper for this. Okay, so, uh, what is going on now? Is someone actually sweeping the hallway? Okay, that's weird. No one actually sweeps. Except for that person, apparently. So, what is going on? Um, Mans, the company that the government um, kind of gave permission to do whatever they want, they're, they're kind of having a war. And um, they knew it was coming, so they have, like, it was this tiny square building, and they knew that these five people were coming. There's not five. I killed people. Dang it. It's a small square building, and they knew people were coming to attack them, and like, knock this giant tower on top of it. So what they did is they sunk into the ground, and they hid themselves. And Aluminum right here, one of the uh, main characters who was supposed to be the final five, that's what her group is called, she walked in, and she stood, and she was like, hmm, man's is supposed to be right here. And my character, Stefano, he's on the hill, he's like, that's a trap. So he goes down, he's like, it's a trap, get out of there. And he gets to Aluminum, and he's like trying to pull her away. She's like, what? What are you doing? And he's like, it's a trap. And she's like, oh, crap. And the entire thing just shoots out of the ground. It goes taller than this other building that was neighboring it. And it goes way up there. And then as it's up there, the roof kind of tilts, and everyone just slides off. And my character can fly. So he catches as many people as he can before they hit the ground. But it's too heavy. It's too much weight. So they hit the ground, but... Not like that. They like not as violent. It still hurts, just not as much. And this tower, like there's a white light at the very top, and it just kind of goes down all the way to the bottom, like an elevator. And aluminum Stefano, and their entire army they've got here, which is 248 people. They start backing up, and they get into a line, and like out of this building, this giant building that shot out of the ground called Mans, like these these soldiers in heavy white metal armor, white and gray, they flood out of this building and there's 54,000 of them flooding out of this building and they turn into a legion and there's a bunch of these giant, what did I call them? What are those? Because the entire thing is a legion. Then you've got nine sections set up. I don't know what those are called. I forgot what they're called. But they're just standing there, and they're still. And uh, Stefano gives a speech. I'll, I will read the speech. Thank you for asking. And they're singing. They're showing that they're not afraid of these 54,000 people. They sing, and they finish their song. And then this little boy steps out of the line, and he goes up to my character, and he says, Stefano, sir? And he's looking up at Stefano. Stefano's just studying every little thing that's going on with this legion that's in front of him. These 54,000 soldiers with actual guns. And these people have superpowers. But is it enough against all of these? That's not how you spell situation. So he says, I'm scared. And Stefano looked down at the frightened little boy. He looked around and fully processed the situation. He looked at the giant mass of soldiers and then to our slightly diminished line of nervous warriors. It's diminished because they were on the roof, tilt, may have killed a few people. So Stefano steps out and says, listen, why is that there? He says, I know you're scared. I'm scared too, okay? Okay, 
Sorry about that. I'm scared too, okay? But the thought of stopping them and saving future people like us keeps me going. They said I was special because of some garbage in my blood. They were wrong. Because I see something special in all of you. It has nothing to do with our blood. It's something that I don't have. I came here because I don't belong and I have nothing to lose. You all have something to lose. You young children, you men and women, you fathers and mothers, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters, you are so very brave. And right now they can see that. Just by singing, we have scared them and showed them that we are not going home until we are done. We have showed them that we are not giving up. They are afraid. Show no fear instinction. Show them our weapons. Show them our fangs and claws. Show them our fire and ice. Spread your wings in perfect imperfections. Show them the things they gave you. And show them what we turn on them tonight. We are undoubtedly... They are undoubtedly going to try and kill us tonight. Let's go kill them instead. And then everyone cheers. Woo. Wow. Woo. Ah. Okay, that felt weird. I don't like that. What was I saying? Um... Yeah, so that's the situation that's going on right now. Apparently, this is spelled incorrectly. Uh, like, the book is already done. And I'm at chapter... Not actually typing. I'm at chapter... 17 for the second book. And, and people are just not getting to the first one. And then going to the second one. And I'm like, wait. Maybe I should check how it transfers over. So I check, and it doesn't transfer very good. Like, in the second one, my character is like 27 or 28. This one, I never said his age. I said that he aged and he looked like 10 years older. I never said his actual age. He's 18. Um, that, that's wrong. I hate when it like tells you something spelled wrong, but it doesn't know what it's talking about. Like, they were both silent for a while. It wants me to say they were both silenced for a while. Uh, let's see, where was I? Uh, show me what you got. And then this part just moves. Uh, thrashed around, okay. I killed another person who was not a super. Part of the extinction. Where did that just go? Where did that go? Okay. I like this computer, but sometimes it just randomly does things. I guess sounds great too. Okay. Uh, blue hair covered her body and she resembled a small ape. A very angry and very aggressive small ape. She tore the armor away from a soldier and used him to jump to the next after sinking her yellow fangs into his throat. Belladonna put her hands out and her thorns made contact with the inner armor of the exposed soldier. He fell to the ground and thrashed around. He quickly stopped moving. He's dead. I, uh, I've been told that my writing resembles George R. R. Martin's style of writing, where you introduce someone, you get attached to them, and then I kill them. Except that guy. That guy was a clone, so it didn't really matter. So yeah, that's just kind of what happens when I'm writing. My heart is beating so fast. Stefano was loosing every arrow he had. He rapidly went through them all and collapsed his bow back into his staff. I like my weapon, it's awesome. So it's like a, a staff, and you press a button and it like kind of opens up into a compound bow, pull it back, it, like an arrow comes out of the side too, and you grab that arrow, it, it launches out of the side, grab it, put it in the, on the bowstring, you knock it, pull it back, loose it, when you're done with it, you throw it forward, and have the bow, how it's kind of like that, it just straightens out back into a staff, and you can use it. So Stefano's, hmm, hmm, ha, ha. Stefano was loosing every arrow he had. He rapidly went through them all and collapsed his bow back into the staff. He swung it at every soldier that came near him. He tripped one soldier and hit another in the head. Then he swung his staff and plunged the end of it into a small space between the bottom of their helmet and the top of their body armor of the soldier he tripped, crushing the soldier's windpipe. There. That part. Red. What? What? Why? Oh my gosh. Why? We had our sloppy formation forming on the inside of the mask, but that doesn't make sense. Does that make better sense? 
Not really. Let's get rid of all of that that I just did. And then what? Okay, okay, let's, let's go back to what that was. I don't remember what that was. And that sounded really dumb, so we're gonna fix it. Heck, okay, hello, hello, hello. What did I do? What did I do? Okay, it's back. None of that saved. <laughs> That's my fourth one, fourth monster. Okay. Did any of that actually save? Some of it did. The part I just read, which I lost it, did not save. Okay, well, that's what happens when I am writing this. So, if you stay for this entire video to find out what I actually do when I write, which is mostly doubt myself and drink monster, thanks for watching. I'm King Lucid, signing off. Seriously, who actually sweeps the hallway? Why are you sweeping now?